It's June 29th, 2012. Still working on machining the uh, spikes for Ray. So a couple done. Four more to go after this one finishes. I made a modification to the machine by adding my cell phone. Measuring the run time. The uh, Mach 3 program for turning purposes does not have a built-in run timer like it is in the, uh, the milling program. So I'm using this to time the operation. Should be somewhere around uh, 24 minutes, I think, the total cycle time. I'm certainly not doing this efficiently. There's a uh, bunch of wasted passes at first, and I'm uh, taking it easy on the cut depth and so on. And feed rate. Here we go for the first turning pass. It looks like the uh, Cool is extremely close. I can see the surface, the WD-40 on the surface changing its appearance, but it's not going any further. Now I am cutting it very close, uh, no pun intended, on the, uh, the distance to the chuck jaws. You'll see that here momentarily. I figure I have about 132nd of an inch in there. About 31 thousandths. Pretty, pretty tight. That is pretty tight. That's, that's uh, due to the way the radius here is uh, so large and then meets this straight section at the three turn. The goal, of course, being to minimize the step between the two surfaces. So this is 120, uh, sorry, 1.240. 1,240,000, that, that diameter right there, and this radius is coming out to an expected 125,000, so there's not much material there to play with, so I wanted to avoid a step, this is how I did it, by pushing my luck, so that's it, cutting the machine layer. So four or five passes in, the cut starts to get a little bit more organized where the chips are not wrapping up so badly. But those first few are definitely difficult, uh, even with the WD-40. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. The, chip, the cuts are just fine. The problem is that the bird nest builds up right on the tool. Maybe I shouldn't sweat that so much, but... I certainly don't appreciate the way that uh, looks at least. So it's about 10 passes in, maybe 12, somewhere in that range right now. And the uh, ship formation is definitely different. They start out very tight. Of course, it only does that if it's uh, well lubricated still. In fact, I'll let it go the next pass without putting the brush on it so that you can see how the chip formation changes. So these are much longer nowhere near as uh, tightly organized, and of course it's building up on the tool. Comes off easily. And then some lubrication tightens up the, uh, the chip again. So we're 
probably a dozen passes in, maybe 14 passes. Let's check the time here. It'll take a little while, but still not too bad. Really, I think the bulk of the material removal is probably about complete, even though it doesn't look like that. The longer passes are done. I never calculated just how long my, uh, or how much material volume was being removed. Uh, worth some effort to get an idea of how long these uh, machine operations take. So that's it for now. Alright, we're getting close to the end of the run on this part. This is my prediction on time holds true. These uh, passes are much shorter. Note the chip formation now is completely different. Little tiny curls. Alright, we're coming right down to the wire now. These passes are very short. In fact, we're about to start the uh, finish passes. Make sure this stays alive so we can see the time to the end here. All the details at the end. And now it's going to start the uh, cusp removal. This is the cusp removal pass here. The phone didn't stay alive. Okay. That's about right. It's going to be a little bit more than 25 minutes. Maybe it'll be short of 26. You see, even that leaves a little bit of a, a little bit of ridging on the uh, material. And that's what the finish pass is for. So this is part of the rough, the roughing cycle. It's just the end of it. All right, so we're finishing the roughing cycle at a little over 25 minutes. And now for the finish cycle. The feed rate slows down from, I believe, two and a half inches per minute to two inches per minute. So we can actually watch how the chip formation changes beginning to end here. Staying in focus. Now let me wake up the phone so it's ready to go when the cycle is over. It's the end of the cut. Coming out. And that's the end of the cycle. See, there's a little bit of a wobble on the edge. Let's see if I can turn it back on so we can see that. It may not be visible on the, uh, on the video, but the, the line between the two is definitely, definitely wobbling around like that. And that's because they were cut two different times and I don't have a whole bunch of material held in the chuck jaws to uh, confirm uh, that the uh, two are concentric. So there's a couple reasons why that's not perfect, but it's what it is. End of the part.